Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing a video on how to detox your home from toxic products that a lot of us aren't even aware are toxic. So this video is a little bit outside of the box from what I normally share on my channel, but I'm going to be sharing more of this content come um, the next couple of weeks and months and year. Um, I'm really passionate about wellness and I'm really excited to begin sharing more about my nutritional therapy training. And along those lines comes with a lot of lifestyle changes for my family so I'm really excited to share this video with you on some simple ways that you can detox your home and make it a safer environment for your babies um, this is in no way intended to shame anyone or make anyone feel bad about decisions they've made I am still learning I am NOT saying that we have a 100% toxic free home I am saying that I am working my way to making better informed um, decisions for my family so I would love to have you a part of my channel if you are new here please subscribe down below I would love to get to know you in the comment sections as well so be sure to leave me a comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed learning about these non-toxic changes that I've been making and also if you guys want to see more videos like this I would love to share more on this conversation with you guys so let me go ahead and jump into this video and share with you guys some of the products that I have been using religiously over the last couple of months this has been a super easy switch that I've made for our family. It has also saved us a ton of money, so I'm excited to share it with you guys. I bought these white cloths from Amazon. These are the Amazon Basics brand. They will be linked in my Amazon storefront below for you guys. But instead of buying paper towels, I decided to spend 15 bucks and buy a package of these white rags. Um, and we use these as paper towels instead. So not only is it saving us money because we're not buying paper products, but it's also environmentally eco-friendly and I can wash them anytime I need to wash them and I have more paper towels. So this is so easy to just use um, cloth towels instead of buying paper towels. It'll save you money, it's better for the environment, and quite frankly, it's more convenient. Another really easy switch that I've made for our family is using stainless steel straws. Um, so Wyatt and I, my husband and I, we use these stainless steel straws over buying plastic straws. I think it's been probably three months since we bought plastic straws and I won't be buying plastic straws. I will either buy paper or I will have um, the stainless steel um, straws on hand. But these are amazing. These are by Healthy Human Life. So again, these are better for the budget. These are eco-friendly and environmentally friendly. They are also um, cheaper in the long run because honestly, you spend maybe 15 bucks up front to get four straws, but they'll last you forever. And I love these, these are amazing. So if you guys are looking for two really easy ways to um, buy products that are gonna last you a longer time, that are environmentally and eco-friendly, I would highly recommend getting some stainless steel straws and using rags as paper towels. Super easy changes to make, and honestly, they are awesome. Um, they work really well. So, love these, and I will have them linked down below on my Amazon storefront. And then another pantry um, sw swap that I've done, actually, instead of using Ziploc bags, which oftentimes the plastic lining in Ziploc bags contains BPA, they contain other chemicals that can enter your food and then enter your body. So I have instead been utilizing my extra mason jars that I've had in my storage for probably three years now. Um, so instead of using Ziploc bags, I put my seeds, my nuts, my cocoa powder, my chocolate chips, my um, anything really that I can fit in a jar, I will put in a jar and keep it in my pantry. Not only is it really cute, um, but honestly, it is so much better for our body. This is a glass container compared to using plastic, which again contains a variety of chemicals that can hinder our body. So I have made this switch. It has been, again, more budget friendly because I'm not tossing plastic bags out when I'm done. Um, and also it's been better for our health. So I love using jars for storage. If you have extra mason jars around your house, I would highly recommend utilizing them. Use them for all sorts of different things. You could put baking soda, baking powder, 
flour, sugar, etc. Anything really that can fit in a jar, you could put in it um, and store it in there. So I love using these. I am going to be buying more of these because I use them daily for all different things around my house and it's been amazing. For me personally and my family's health and my decisions, I have decided to eliminate um, aluminum foil as soon as we run out of our current roll. Um, in replacement for aluminum foil, I am looking into beeswax wraps. Um, which you will be able to cover um, food and store it. It's a much more natural alternative and it's something that I'm really excited to switch over. Um, a couple of things I wanna talk about are spray bottles. So I bought these two um, from Walmart. I think they were 99 cents or 98 cents a bottle, super cheap. Um, I will say that they are plastic. Next time I will be buying glass bottles for the sake of just, like I said, BPA and all the chemicals that are in plastic. Um, but because these are for cleaning, I felt a little bit better about buying cheaper bottles. I have um, vinegar water in this one, and I use vinegar water on everything. Vinegar is antibacterial. Here is my big jug of white distilled vinegar. Um, it is a natural deodorizer, it is antibacterial, and it is antifungal. So there are lots of ways that you can use um, vinegar in your house. A couple of ways that I personally use vinegar is on my windows. I will do half water and half distilled vinegar in my little spray bottle here, and I will use that to clean all of my windows. And then I will do a higher concentration of vinegar and water for my bathrooms um, to spray on the countertops, around the toilets, and also in the bathtubs. Um, there's no lingering smell from the vinegar. A lot of people say that they can't stand the way the vinegar smells, but if you properly dilute it and you let it sit for a little while and dry out, your bathroom will not smell like vinegar. Um, it's one of the best switches that I've made for our family. Prior to using this, vinegar um, concoction that I've created, I use Method Cleaner until I read the fine print and until I learned more. Um, I also previously used Mrs. Meyers. Both of those products claim to be natural or naturally derived. However, they both contain fragrance and fragrance contains up to thousands of chemicals that can hinder our endocrine system, our reproductive um, system, and a lot of other side effects that can um, hinder our body. So I've completely eliminated any store-bought cleaners um, and made my own. Okay, so I wanna talk about castile soap really quick. Um, this is another use that I will pair with the vinegar water. Um, so this is the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. This is in the scent Hemp Citrus. And essentially what it is, is 100% natural. It is naturally um, scented with essential oils and these are pure quality essential oils that they use in this. It's a very concentrated soap. So the, the way that it works is you would distribute a quarter of a teaspoon to let's say a half a cup of water. That is how concentrated it is. So there's a lot of different formulas on the side of the bottle that give you a ton of different versatile uses for this soap. One of the ways that I have utilized the soap is by mixing it in my other spray bottle here which has cayenne pepper, some vinegar, and it has um, water in here. And this is a natural bug spray. So I added a little bit of this soap that I use in my house, and let me tell you, it works. It is amazing. I asked my husband last week if he noticed a difference in these little flies that we've seen around our house, and he said that he's basically seen little to none um, after using this. So it is amazing what natural products can do if you give them a shot. Um, so that is one use that I've found that I like with this. Um, another thing that I use this for is dishwashing soap. Um, it works well for that. Another thing that I've used it for is laundry detergent, and it makes your laundry super clean and smells really good. Um, there are directions on the side of the bottle that you can check out if you wanna learn more when you um, head to Target or Walmart or wherever. Just look on the side of the bottle and you will see a ton of different ways that you can use the cast style soap. Highly recommend that stuff. Um, a couple of other ways that I use vinegar, um, I actually wash our produce with vinegar. Um, I will actually do like a vinegar soak. So I'll do a quarter of a cup of vinegar to a quarter of a cup of water, and I will soak blueberries, grapes, etc. cetera. Um, even if they're organic, I will soak them. I just wanna make sure that my produce is thoroughly washed and clean before I give it to my baby um, or eat it myself, to be honest. So I use it for that as well. There are so many versatile ways that you can use vinegar. Um, I also use it to mop my floors. This is amazing for mopping floors. There's no residue, super quick, inexpensive, and again, antibacterial. So I use vinegar for a lot of different things and I swear by it. This is baking soda. Baking soda helps remove stains, odors, 
um, etc from your home so if you have a spot on your carpet and maybe your baby had an accident or your dog had an accident you would um, essentially mix part vinegar to part baking soda and you have an easy concoction for a stain remover and deodorizer there are lots of ways you can use baking soda but this is something that has been a staple in my house cleaning and deodorizing so highly recommend getting a big container of baking soda I just use this one to show you guys um, what it is Another product that I've switched out is using a cleaner um, dishwashing detergent. So this is the Trader Joe's Next to Godliness Environmentally Sound and Automatic Dishwashing Detergent. Um, it's phosphate free, no fragrance, chlorine free, no dyes, biodegradable. Um, so this is a much safer alternative than using like name brands such as Cascade or off brands such as Up and Up, etc. Those brands, read the label on the back, they contain not just chlorine, but bleach, um, which is basically the same thing, honestly. So it's really important to know that even the products that we use in our homes, on our dishes, I mean, if you think about it, when you go to take a drink of water out of your glass, what did your glass get washed with? You know, it's as simple as that, really considering what we're putting in our bodies. Um, also consists of the products that we use to clean our dishes and our homes and our bodies with. Okay, I have just a few more left that I'm gonna show you guys. This is just kind of an introduction to some easy changes that I've made for our family. I have a couple of more extensive ones um, and a lot more that I've been implementing recently. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys wanna see more videos like this because I would love to share more on the topic of toxic living and non-toxic living and showing you guys some changes that I've been making. So I actually talked about this on Instagram in my Instagram stories. I created a whole highlight for it. That's how amazing it is. Um, but this is coconut oil and this is a giant jug of coconut oil. I use coconut oil for a lot of different things. I'm going to start with a couple of basic things that I use coconut oil for. I use it as stain remover. Um, so Opal, my almost two year old daughter, she likes to color and do art and crafts and etc. in the living room. And we have tile and she will oftentimes color on the tile if I look away or whatever. She's just being a kid. So I have found that if I add a little bit of coconut oil onto one of our paper towel rags um, and wipe it up, it comes up clean and it's non-toxic. There are lots of versatile ways that you can use coconut oil. I use it to bake with, I use it to cook with, I use it to clean with, um, I use it as makeup remover, I use it as shaving cream, I use it for so many different things. Um, I have more information on this on my Instagram stories and my highlights on coconut oil if you guys want to learn more about it, but I cannot recommend it enough. Google coconut oil uses and different ways to use it. I will have um, an article linked down below, but do your research on it. It is amazing for a lot of different things and I absolutely love um, resorting to this for easy cleanup um, and beauty remedies. A couple of um, more foodie related changes that I have made for our family, um, and this is actually gonna be the last thing that I talk about, is oils. So um, instead of using vegetable, canola, sunflower, hydrogenated oils essentially is what I'm saying, I have switched to strictly using coconut oil, olive oil, and then avocado oil. Um, and the reason for this being is that Hydrogenated oils have shown um, to actually harm our body. Um, they are in everything that we buy at the grocery store, in the products that we buy, the snack foods that we eat, the way that we've been told to prepare food. Um, a lot of the recipes that we eat call for vegetable oil or canola oil. However, so I have made the switch for a lot of health reasons, not just heart health, but a lot of reasons that I will talk about in a later video, um, to using wholesome oils that have high concentrated amounts of fat that are good fats. That pretty much summarizes this first introduction video to non-toxic living or detoxing your home or whatever you wanna call it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was insightful. Please know that my heart is just to educate and share what I'm learning. I am not claiming to know everything and I am still a work in progress um, learning to do what's best for my family. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, leave me a comment, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.